Type key code FB1 to create a recurrent document. Enter the company code for which recurrent document has to be created. Enter the first run date. This run date is when the recurrent entry initiates for the first time. Enter the last run date. This is the date at which the recurrent entries will end. Click interval in months. Select the interval period. If you select per month, then recurrent entry will be posted every month. Enter the run date. Is double click. Select the appropriate document type for which recurrent document has to be created. In this case, we are using vendor payment document type. Select the appropriate posting key. Since we have selected document type Dovin, we will use vendor posting key. Page down is now pressed. Select the posting key 21 for vendor credit memo. Select the vendor account. Enter the amount. Select the next posting key. Since we have selected the vendor debit posting key first, now we will select the credit posting key. Select the DL credit posting key 50 and select the appropriate GL account. Select the tax code for the vendor, if applicable. Double click here. Click on the continue button. Enter the amount. Enter the profit center. This is mandatory for all the revenue GL accounts. Click on save icon to generate a recurrent document number. Type F.14 to execute a recurrent document. Enter the company code. Enter the recurrent document number that was created in FB12 process further. Enter the fiscal year. Enter the posting date. F2 is now pressed. Enter the settlement date. This is the same date as first run on date in FB1. Click on Execute icon to create a batch session. Type SM35 to view the created batch sessions. Select the batch session which you need to process. Click on Process icon. Here you can select to process in foreground or background mode. We will use the foreground mode. Enter is now pressed. Enter is now pressed. Click Continue. Enter is now pressed. Enter is now pressed. Enter is now pressed. Enter is now pressed. Click Exit Batch Input. 